Hey everybody, how you doing today? Um, today I'm going to be doing a $50 Taiwanese uh, coin. And uh, before I get started though, I just want to take a moment to thank everybody once again for all the support you've been giving the channel, all the, the likes on the videos and the subscriptions. It uh, really means a lot to me. Thank you very much. So uh, again, this is a international coin, a $50 uh, Taiwanese coin. Uh, on the front of it, I believe that says Republic of China. And so I think uh, I'll make this coin with that head side out. So, okay, let's get started. So, first of all, I'll be uh, punching a half inch hole in this one. So we'll put the coin in. Let's uh, get a couple pieces of paper towel here. And kind of protect the detail as much as possible. I found that it really does help to use the paper towel. Okay, here we go. This coin has no silver or precious metal content. It's uh, uh, bronze, I believe. I don't have to check and see exactly what the makeup is. Doesn't really matter. Kind of a cool coin, actually. Um, it has a uh, whole hologram on uh, the reverse side. See if I can get lined up here. It's always hard to look in the the viewfinder or the uh, little display to get things oriented correctly. So anyway. It's got a uh, hologram. Probably can't see it, but anyway, oh well, too much trouble. So we'll put that aside. So I think I'll go ahead and anneal it now. I want to be, I don't want to put too much heat on it though because the first time I did one of these I kind of got some reticulation on it. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to take it a little easier on it this time and not have that issue. So I've kind of changed my setup a little bit here because I'm doing some uh, TikTok live videos and so I have to have everything, you know, all in one spot. It makes it much easier. So I'm not using my little uh, fire brick oven. Okay, looks pretty good so far. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, and start folding this guy. Should I do the Republic of China side out? Yeah, I'll do that out. 
that side out. I got a whole bunch of these coins, about 30 of them. Well, let me do use the dapping lock first. My daughter-in-law is uh, Taiwanese, and my wife, actually. My daughter-in-law went to Taiwan recently and brought me back a handful of these things. Okay, there we go. So let's continue folding in 17 degree die. I'll use my stainless steel cone in the beginning of the process, as always. Good. So now I'll use the composite cone to finish it up. stiff. Okay, that uh, feels like it might need to be annealed some more. It didn't really feel like I got a complete, well, it's, yeah, it's pretty close. All right, we'll just run with it, see what we, what we get on the stretcher. some issues with my camera for some reason. I don't know what's going on with it. Well, looks pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and stretch this guy out a little bit. Make this like a size 10. Let's see where we are here now. Uh, nine. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, anneal this one more time.
All right, so I uh, went ahead and annealed again, and uh, let's see if this helps at all. It felt kind of kind of like it was work hardening. So let's uh, see what we got now. That feels a little better. That's probably okay. I'll go ahead and Swedish wrap it. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna pickle this. So uh, I'll be back with you after the pickle. Okay, so that looks quite a bit better now. Got rid of all that fire scale and nastiness. All right, so let's get the Swedish wrap out and reduce this guy down. It's about a size 11 now. Reduce it down to 10 and uh, get the sides straightened up. So I'll give this about 15 wraps probably. All right, that'll do it. Okay. Put her down in there. Get the Get the uh, Ross pusher out. Okay, let's check it. stuck in there. That doesn't happen often. Push it down a little bit more. See if it loosens it up. Hmm. That's interesting. Must have something to do with the kind of material. Alright, I'm going to put you on hold for a minute. Oh. Get this ring out of here. All right, got it out of there. I had a little Delrin rod right here. I just put it down in there and knocked it out. So let's see if that happens again. Nope, that's weird. I don't know why it did that the first time. I'll check and see what size we've got. Walls are looking pretty good. Looks like the the reed needs to come down just a little bit. We are at size nine. Let me have to stretch it out a little bit on the coin or on the ring stretcher. But there I'll pick up some and see if we have much of a rim here. Yeah, there's some. Well, it looks like it's pretty straight. Let me pull the tape off and take a better look at it. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Kind of lucked out on that. All right, let me check the size once more, and then I've got the tape off of it and see exactly where we are. We are 
It's size 9, right, on the numbers. Alright, so let me uh, come over here and... We'll cut the, uh, the rim out of there with the deburring tool. Don't know what kind of material this is, so we'll keep it separate from the other material. This, sh when I get this out of there, it should get me pretty close to a 10, maybe 9 and 3 quarters, something like that. Almost nine and a half. Don't have much for rim left now though. Just a little bit. So I'll give it a couple more more passes here. Yeah, it's gone now. So let's see what they got me and not too much. About nine and a half still. Okay, so it's gonna require a little bit of a stretch. So let's come back over here and see what we can do. Don't want to stretch it too much. Let's give it a couple of... Alright, let's check it. Almost there, just like ten and... or nine and three quarters, so... Maybe just one more go at it. There we go. Ten. Size ten. I think I'm going to put it in a um, 17 degree die and just give it just a bump. We are just a smidgen over 10, so this shouldn't be a problem. It's just not 100% straight so this ought to hopefully take care of that let's check it again got just a
Let's see here. This side is what? 1.2. You put it in the 1.1 side. That, uh, yeah. Got a little bit of coin showing there. Just well, got to be really careful now. I don't go too far. Oh man. Not like working silver, that's for sure. I guess I'll have to anneal it one more time. I'm just a hair over 10 still, so I got some little bit of size to give. Alright, so while I had things on pause there, I went and checked to find out what the composition of this coin is. It's uh, aluminum bronze, but I don't know what the percentages are of it. Probably mostly bronze, I would guess. So, I kneeled it again, and let's see if I can push that reed down, reed size down a little bit. Because it's just a little bit big on that side. Well, that's uh, that just doesn't want to want to give. Yeah. Put this on here, see if I can get a little more leverage on it. Now I'll probably go too far. Okay, I put some weight on it and I felt it give just a little bit around that. Yeah, there we go. That rounded that side off to make it even. Now hopefully it's not too small. And it's about nine and three quarters, but I think as I sand it out smooth and everything, it should should be okay. All right, so time to go over to the polishing station and finish this guy up. So let's uh, finish this guy up. Sand this edge up real nice. So today's football Sunday, so I hope everyone's team won today. Well, mine did. Kansas City Chiefs. First part of the game was pretty shaky, but they pulled it out. Beat Jacksonville. So, sorry if any Jacksonville fans are watching. My condolences. Side. Try to do this so I don't get my big hand in the way. Yeah, let me do this the power way. Use a diamond burr on it. It's pretty hard material, so. You can probably remove enough material to get this um, up to a size 10. It's not far off now. Oops. You pay attention. 
power tools, make the power mistakes. The color of this ring is actually pretty nice. Okay, let's get a uh, polishing tool out. Uh, I can find my chuck key. It's getting hot. And it's starting to look much better. Getting rid of all those uh, little stutter marks caused by the deburring tool. nice yep yep okay so let's take the uh, some steel wool let me get a fresh piece piece I have been using just kind of disintegrated on me Yeah, this material has a tendency to uh, orange peel. Not much you can do about it. It doesn't look bad, really. I just, I think part of that might come from the stretching process, also. side and after I get this done we'll put some polish on it Pretty decent. All right, let's see what we can do with some mother's mag and aluminum polish. Don't know what happened to my polishing cloth, but it's okay. 
about time to go buy some more polish. If you have anybody from Taiwan watching this, please leave me a comment. My wife is from Tainan. My daughter-in-law is from Jai. They have some good friends in Taipei. I got started traveling over there uh, for business back in uh, 2010 through 2020. Really enjoy going to Asia. Shining up pretty good. I have to try to figure out a way to keep this from orange peeling. Be a beautiful ring without all that orange peel. It doesn't look bad now, but it would be better if it was nice and smooth. Surface all the way. Well, I got about 35 of them to play with. There we go. 50 NTD, new Taiwan dollar. It's about three bucks US, approximately. guys thanks for stopping in if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and a follow I'm trying to get up to 100 uh, followers subscriptions to start with so any any subscriptions would be greatly appreciated all right guys take care Catch you next time.